where there's a renewed push tonight against America's big tech companies for the inappropriate content that children are subjected to and programs that are said to be addictive. That's created some rare bipartisanship as lawmakers from all sides say it is time to rein in those online dangers. Sinclair's chief political correspondent Scott Thuman shows us what's being done. As divided as Washington often is, some causes do bring both sides together. Now the safety of children online doing just that. Social media has run up against the mama bears. Parents are not just concerned, they're angry. Republican Marsha Blackburn and Democrat Richard Blumenthal pushing the Kids Online Safety Act to force social media companies to limit potentially harmful posts and an added responsibility. To respond to parents when parents flag something and say this is a video that promotes self-harm, eating disorders, suicide, puts kids in touch with drug dealers, pedophiles. Telling Sinclair's Christine Frizzell that companies would undergo annual audits of their practices, use the strongest privacy settings for kids and face penalties if they don't. Expecting some sort of pushback from big tech companies, lawmakers tell us they're ready for that fight, that there are now over 30 co-sponsors from both parties and hundreds of organizations supporting the bill. That after an increase in parents of victims demanding Congress intervene. I woke to the complete shock and horror that Carson had hung himself in our garage while we slept. After his death, we discovered that Carson had received nearly 100 negative, harassing, sexually explicit and humiliating messages. But it's not without critics who worry social media platforms will over moderate or censor. One company rep stating, we are constantly evaluating how to make our platform safer, including through new education, features and protections. Lawmakers saying it's time these companies reveal to those most affected how they work so they can become safer. In Washington, I'm Scott Thuman.